In this video, we're going to take a look at the badging system called Badger. One of the advantages to Badger is that it integrates quite nicely into Canvas. So actually what you are going to want to do first is go to badger.com, badger.com, and create an account for yourself. You want to use your email address associated with your Atlas account that you're using to log into Canvas so that Badger can recognize you are a user and instructor within Canvas. And once you've created your account, you are an issuer. And if I click on my name, this is where I will be able to create my badges. And you'll see a list of the badges under the Badger tab. There's a Pathways tab, which in essence allows you through multiple resources to uh, create a pathway uh, for participants to earn badges, uh, again, within different electronic venues. This isn't something that we would use because really the pathway for our students is within Canvas. Under the Groups tab, you can create a group of members. Uh, within that group, you would be able to import from a CSV all the members of the group, or you could enter them individually. Now, this is typically used for tracking uh, members within particular pathways, so this really wouldn't be a feature that we would utilize within Canvas either. And then under the Staff tab, you could add multiple issuers um, under your account. So if I had a graduate teaching assistant, I could put them in here so that they could also assign badges and create them as well. And when you're creating a badge, you can create the badge uh, to have your own custom image. I created this image in Microsoft Word, just did a screenshot and uploaded the JPEG here. But if I go to the Create Badge screen, I can upload that file that I created, that image, or you can choose images from their default group. I can choose different designs. Give your badge a name, a description of the badge, and what criteria that you would use to earn the badge. This is what would be displayed to your students so that they would know what they need to do specifically to earn this badge. If I come back to one of the badges I've already created, if I'm going to award badges manually, this is where I would uh, be able to do that. Now Canvas only allows you to earn badges by completing a module. So if I wanted to assign a badge for uh, some other task. So for example, they complete a test and they earn an 80%. Um, that is something that I would need to do manually. Uh, manually. Those triggers for earning a badge within Canvas can only be completing a module. Now once I've set up my Badger account and I've created my badges, how do we import all of this into Canvas? Once I'm in a Canvas course, I'm going to scroll down to settings and once I'm in settings there's the apps feature I could scroll they're listed alphabetically or I could just start to type Badger and I would choose the Badger US app there's some information here about the different Badger programs that you can pay for but the free service is what I personally use I click to add the app and it wants a consumer key and shared secret in order to get that consumer key and shared secret I'm gonna come back to my Badger account I'm going to click in the upper right corner under my initials and I'm going to choose app integration. I'm going to choose that I'm integrating into Canvas and this would be the shared secret and consumer key. There are instructions here and more details about how to continue that process. And once you've integrated Badger into Canvas, you should see a badges link in your navigation menu. If it's not there, you can click settings, go to navigation and you'll find the Badger link here. Pull it up and click save. Now when you click the badges page, you're viewing all of the badges from an instructor's instructor standpoint. So for example, if I click this badge gives me a description. This is the wording that would be delivered to the student. I would have put this into Badger when I created that badge. I can see the criteria. This brings me to Badger where I could manage the badge here as well. If I click on progress, I can see what badges students have earned or not earned here. You can also enable a leaderboard and you would need Badger Pro to look at the analytics. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Badger's automatic delivery of badges have triggers that are only associated with the completion of a module. So in order to make that connection, I would click on the modules link and next to a module, I'd click the three dots and choose to edit. And here I would add a requirement. Now in this case you can see I made the requirement that the student must complete the syllabus quiz and they must make this particular score. 
I'm going to jump to a different module to so, show you some of the other options you have. So if I choose edit, in this case I have the students completing a test at the end of the module. You can see that you have a, quite a few different options here. Any quizzes or assignments or assessments that they have. Um, they also, so when I choose one of these assessments, I can choose a score threshold. Just viewing the item, marking it as done, just submitting the assignment. If I choose a particular content page, I don't have any assessments on this particular page. So they have to view the item market is done or contribute to the page. You can choose multiple requirements within a particular module. You could choose to have students complete all of the requirements, move through the entire module. I personally wouldn't recommend that, but I think of course as an instructor you have the freedom to explore and see what triggers you want for the students to be able to earn the badge. Now I want you to keep in mind that there is only one badge that a student can earn per module. Suppose you want to have another badge delivered within the same module. Let's suppose they're completing a discussion board post. You want them to be able to earn a second badge within that module. What you would need to do in that case is delivering the badge manually. So you would come into your uh, badges that you've created and you would award the badge from here. I went to student view to show you what this looks like from the student's perspective. When I click the badges link, here's what I call the trophy room. So this is basically the home page of the badges. Shows the badges that I could earn in the course. Now these are all grayed out. I can click to view the details to see what the criteria is. Uh, once I earn one of these badges, this is color in, signifying that I've earned the badge, the grade being I haven't earned the badge, but I can by completing those criteria. Now the research clearly shows that badges are most successful when students can see ahead of time the badges that they can earn. So having badges be surprises, uh, something they're not aware of, uh, using badges is a great way to gamify a course, make learning fun, and motivate students to engage with their classmates and with the learning content. That's, that's not a re recommendation to utilize badges in that manner. And I think it's okay to have a couple that are in that manner, but you really want the students to know what they need to achieve to earn a badge. So in that conversation as an instructor, you want to make sure the badges link is visible and not hidden. Badger does have some good support available to you. You'd want to go to support.badger.com. Go ahead and sign in with your account. You can search through particular help articles. There's even an FAQ with specific issues that people experience that you can look for help on as well. Using badges is a great way to gamify a course, make learning fun, and motivate students to engage with their classmates and with the learning content.